This is a Cass Creek crow call. Quite a nice hand size there, easy to grip. Feels right in your hand. It's got rubber along where your fingers fit. Across the top, there's a rubber as well. On the back, there's a clip there to put onto either a pocket or a belt. It's sprung loaded, so you can adjust it quite wide for any size that you want. Battery compartment, on off and volume control. Little light comes on when it's switched on so you know the battery is draining if you're not making a noise with it. And a little connection there so you can use an external loudspeaker. It's a bit fiddly when you've got it pushed in to grab the little tiny tab at the bottom and pull it out but once you get used to it it ain't too bad but the first couple of times it can be a bit of a nuisance to try and get that out easily. Doesn't feel too heavy, it's camouflaged as well although the white writing might give the game away. You can also get a, a loudspeaker with it as well, an external one. Now both of these come with some good packaging should help to protect it in transit. With it there's quite a bit of a write-up. There's instructions, a few instant tips I suppose you could call them and obviously they claim how good it is and why not if they think it's a good one. All in all it's something that's designed and packaged I think to help somebody who wants a game caller like this a crow call. Same with the external speaker, there's a bit on there, hints and tips, instructions. Now, all in all then putting a, a good bit of thought into the product. With the external loudspeaker you also get a long cord, I'm actually not sure how long it is but there's a good amount of wire there as you can see and a short one. And another helpful thing is they put in a lanyard with it as well. A little hole there to loop it up. The idea with this is you don't have to leave it on the ground. You can hang it from a tree or a bush. So that's quite a nice feature. The batteries for them. Uh, this one's a predator call. It's got the rabbit and howl of a coyote pup yips, fawn distress, but that's more for foxes or something else. Inside is three AAA batteries. The cover itself to go on and cover them. It's got a small crosshead screwdriver. You might prefer to leave the screw out if you think your batteries are going to go flat. It might be an idea to carry spare batteries with you obviously if you use these calls a lot. But you might think it's worth taking the screw out and just securing this with an elastic band. Obviously the shape of the grips there, it helps to keep the elastic band in place. Just a thought that if you're a heavy user of batteries, it might be worth leaving that screw out. The call itself, quite simple to use, simple on off switch. I don't know if you can see the light there, glowing red just to say it's switched on. You can adjust the volume, it's numbered to so give you a good idea. And there's quite a few. This is called McDaddy. There's no one not on and off or pause so you either need to either turn the volume down to give a bit of a delay to save making the click or you click it off but obviously if you just want to make a few calls leave it for a few seconds and then back on again you're better off adjusting the volume just take it off so you've got that bit of a delay there if you require it. The next one is the Crow Distress. And 
and this one here says crow and owl fight The one I like is the Crow Frenzy. And also Hawk Attack. With the crow frenzy and the hawk attack there's quite a few good calls there. Now I actually use these not to attract crows for shooting but either for photography or to practice the use of a mouth call and with this you've got a bit of variety. Now, as I said, there's an extension lead. You can plug in the extension. There's not an off switch there for the extension itself. Once it's switched on though, if you've got it some yards away from you, you can't exactly go and switch it off. You still control it by the on off switch there. Now, I have found with this, when I'm using the extension speaker, all the noise comes from the extension speaker, none comes from the handheld call itself. So if you are using this and thinking of getting a, an extension speaker, don't think that you'll get two calls for the price of one, you still only get the one sound coming from one speaker. All in all, with the loudspeaker and the extension leads, I think it's quite a comprehensive piece of kit. I'm certainly impressed with it and I think I'm going to get some good use out of this. Not only with attracting crows but also practicing a mouth call. The one disadvantage with electric calls like this is that you're talking or shouting at the crows even you could say. With the mouth call you've got the opportunity to talk with them, to them, respond to them. With this it's just fixed and you can only rely on what the crows think about this. At least with the mouth call you can vary it and try and encourage them, try and make them think it is a real one. If they get wise to something like an electric call it's uh, probably going to lose its uh, allure to them let's say but I find these are very good for practicing to get a mouth call right but all in all quite a nice piece of kit I just add that the extension speaker that requires batteries and inside this there's four AA batteries now you need to be aware that you need two different types of batteries if you do use the extension speaker and the handheld core.